Hi students, this is Dr. Badrinath and uh, today's video is the classification of crude drugs. See, the God has uh, committed a mistake. He made a mistake. Whenever he is creating a nature, entire nature, he committed a mistake. That mistake uh, making the pharmacognosy subject very complicated. Especially the classification of a crude drug, it is very, very difficult for all pharmacy students. It is very difficult to me also for explanation for all teachers, not only to me, all teachers. It is also very difficult to the students also to remember. Actually, it is possible, uh, for him it is possible to make it very easy. I will tell you how to make it easy. See, alkaloids, all these are the phytochemicals. We know all these are the parts of the blood. There is number of the parts are there, number of alkaloids are there. Uh, number of phytochemicals are there. Now, what he has to do, all the flowers, it consists of alkaloids. Very clean, easy, clear-cut uh, classification must be there, actually. Very easy. All fruits consist of only glycosides. All leaves, only tannins, there is no other alkaloids or glycosides in the leaves. O stems, only volatile oils. Roots, only lipids. Seeds, only turpenoids, like that, uh, nicely. He has to be classified very nicely. But here, what happened, this uh, uh, flowers, can, some of the plant flowers consist of alkaloids, so some of the plant flowers consist of a glycoside, so some plant flowers consist of a tannin, so some plant flowers consist of a volatile oil, so very, very complicated fruits consist of all these things. Lipids, so some of the fruits, turpenoids, so very uh, complicated. He made it very complicated. He didn't ask me also, actually. See, that's why, but however, no problem. We will uh, make it, I will make it uh, very easy for you. Uh, see, plants are also having a family just like a human beings. We don't know that. We are, we know our family, but each and every plant you have to know. As like our family, it is also having a family and family burdens that we don't know. Okay, each and every plant, whenever you go on road and you try to find out which plant, you ask it, which plant you, you which family you are, uh, belongs to like that. Okay, otherwise you go to pharmacognosy textbook and uh, you have to be collected. Okay, right. Practice. You have to practice. See, this is about your syllabus. Here you can see this classification of drugs. All we will see in the entertaining manner. All profits, morphological, total seven, uh, seven types of classification. Scientists, they have broken their head. Finally, uh, they made it seven types. Even the seven types, each of in the very classification is having advantages and disadvantages also. Okay, total seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, right. See, uh, this is about my YouTube channel. Uh, sorry, the, my mobile app. You can be downloaded from the Google Play Store. All my presentations are available in the form of PDF, whatever I am presenting the YouTube. Same PDF format available. It is nothing but a Notes, you go to the store option after downloading it and I will keep on uploading all the subjects. This is about my YouTube channel. You know very well. Playlists. If you go to the playlist, you will get a subject wise, you will get, okay, later you will get a, each topic, you will get a topic wise. See, classification of a crude drug is tough job. It is not easy. See, crude drugs are classified into different ways. Total seven types are there. No classification is not, is not satisfied so far. No classification is satisfied. Not described total plant profile even in a single class. Okay. Still, there is no ideal classification. Still, scope is there. Ideal classification should be very simple. It should be easy to use. It must be described a complete plant profile because plants, wide variety of plants are there. Wide variety of phytochemicals are there. Okay, so it is not possible to make them, it is in a simple way. Each classification is having its own merits and demerits. Total seven are there. Keep in your mind, students. Alpha vertical A for apple, B for banana, okay, C for custard apple, D for dragon fruit. How alpha vertical fruits in the same fashion here also we are classifying as per the alpha vertical manner. All fruit drugs we are uh, alpha vertical A, B, C, D. Morphological classification. Here, parts of the plants, roots, leaves, stems, like that, parts, morphology, taxonomical classification, family. Here, family, family, we are providing a family. Okay, phylum, family, species, so like that. Chemical classification as per their chemical constituent, which are present in. 
See pharmacological, see like chemical classification, chemistry, pharmacological classification, pharmacology. Because cognitive subject, I told no, he made it very tough. That's why here scientists they classified all the plants as per their chemical content, as per their pharmacological activity, like that. Chemo taxonomy, it is a mix of two. See, chemo chemical classification, taxonomical classification, mix of both. Is called as a chemo taxonomical, sero taxonomical, sero, sero means what? Serology, antigen, antibody, immune system. So here plants they have divided into uh, immunogenic plants like that. Okay. So total seven. First we will see uh, everything is sweet and sharp with uh, uh, examples. Also called as A to Z classification. Drugs are based on the alphabetical order of their Latin. English names, Latin names, English name, Acacia, Benjoin, Cinchona, D for Dill, E for Ergot, F for Phenyl, like that, A to Z classification, okay? Many pharmacopoeias are also used with this. Indian pharmacopoeia, British pharmacopoeia, USP, they are also giving direct A for apple, like that. How we are C for carrot, fruits and vegetables, we are classifying in such a fashion. Merits, it's very easy and quick to use. There is no repetition enters. Whereas in other classification, it is a problem. Demerits, there is no relationship between a previous and a successive drug entry. A for app, uh, uh, Acacia, but Acacia nature may be where, okay? And another A may be uh, difference. Morphological classification, I told already, it is a based on the part. See, in my previous video, I have told you, they are grouped into organized drugs, unorganized drugs. See, in organized drug, drugs are present in the, as an organ. Flowers, organ, leaf, uh, organ, root, organ, fruit, organ, unorganized drug. See, the secretion, okay? Mucilage, okay? Gums, all these are, see, gums, mucilage, all are coming out of the fruit, but these are not part of the plants. In my previous video, you can check here they have classified the scientists into organized and unorganized drug. Okay, they have a organized drug, they have a definite part. Okay, unorganized drug do not have a definite part. Okay, examples are the gums, mucilages. These are all not the part of the plants. Merits, it gives the idea which part contains which gum. This is a speciality of that. For example, say curcumin. You can say curcumin. Curcumin is nothing but rhizome. It is a turmeric. Turmeric is present in the rhizome immediately. Immediate senna leaves, we will get immediately leaves. Only leaf is the important part in the senna plant, like that. Drug is present in the part of the plant. Okay, morphological classification. Okay, right. And uh, example for uh, organized drugs, so flowers, clove. Clove, generally we will think it is not flower, but it is a flower. Clove, uh, as artemisin, saffron, leaves, senna, digitalis. Wasaka, eucalyptus, leaves, okay, fruits like that. See, all these are the consists of a chemical contents. Okay, these drug is directly present in the flower of the clove. Remaining entire part of the plant is not important. Not that much important. Okay. Gums, acacia, dried juices, aloe, kino, dried extracts, like that. All these examples you have to be right in the examination. Taxonomical classification. I told you that family will enter here. Synonym, it is also called as a biological classification or botanical classification. It is based on the principles of natural relationship and evolutionary development. Okay. They are grouped into kingdom, plant kingdom or animal kingdom. It is a plant. Here I have given an example. Glycerisia clubra it is a plant kingdom. What is a phylum? What is a division? What is a class? Order? Family? See, this history is greater than our history. See, family, our family names, only we have two names, our body name and family name. But here it is not like that. Origin, oh, kingdom, oh, phylum, oh, division, oh, class, oh, order, family, subfamily, genus, oh, species. Okay, one example you have to be right in the examination. Taxonomical classification. Merits, uh, ta in taxonomical classification, they have some advantages and disadvantages also. Here I will tell you merits. Plants of particular family consist of a, in most situations, it exhibits a similar taxonomical character. For example, see, umbelliferae family having the same similar characters like a funnel, soap, jeera, 
Daniya, all this consists of a same type of uh, uh, characteristics. Okay, like that. It is a merit. But demerit is also there. What is the demerit? Two are the demerits. One is the convergence. Convergence. Similar characters are found in unrelated plants. See, this family is another. And whereas this plant is having another family. But sometimes both may have a same characters. Both are matching. See here. That is another family. This is another family plant. But characters may be same. That is called a yeah, convergence. See here. This is one plant. This is another plant of another family. But both are matching characteristics. And problem is all. One more problem is divergence. Same family, same related plants exhibit the dissimilarities in the characters. See, same plant, family, two plants in the same family. One plant shows the another characters, and another plant shows the another character, but both are belongs to same family. Like that, some convergence is also there, divergence also there. Chemical classification, we are classifying according to the chemical constituents which are present. For example, say alkaloids, nuxvanka, ergato, glycosides, tannins, volatile acids, lipids, all these things we cannot prepare in the synthetic laboratory. Each plant is a factory, each plant prepare. So as per the chemicals which are present, based on that we are, see chemistry, that's why I kept the chemistry structure here based on the chemistry. Pharmacological classification here, we are not dealing with the chemistry. We are dealing directly activity. For example, say drugs acting on GAT, gas retention tank, bitters, drugs acting on carminative, which expels the gas, emetics, anti uh, amoebiasis, bulk laxatives, agar, spagula, purgatives, peptic ulcer treatment, banana, banana peptic ulcer like that, all the drugs which are acting on the GAT, drugs which are acting on the respiratory system, drugs which are acting on the cardiovascular, both cardiovascular system also like that. All these things, cardiotonics, cardio depressants, vaso constrictors, antipyretics, raulfia serpentina used for the BP, raulfia serpentina used for the treatment of the BP, blood pressure. And the chemo taxanum, it is a mix of both. Chemo means chemical constituents. And taxonomy means family, I told. So family and chemical constituent. For example, say family, Solanaceae family, all Solanaceae family consists of same alkaloids, tropane alkaloids here. See here, two things are came. Solanaceae family, okay, chemical. Solanaceae family, it is a taxonomy. Tropane alkaloids, it is a chemistry. So chemistry, we are... Uh, relating with the family. That is a chemotaxanum. Umbelliferae family consists of volatile oils. All panaceae family consists of polio resins. Polio resins. Like that chemotaxanum. Serotaxanum the classification is very similar plants. If plants, some of the plants are very similar, then you have to be classified again, subdivided them by having, by difference by means of differences in the proteins, the what they contain, okay, based on that. For example, scientists players applied a zero taxonomical data in the classification of leguminosae family. What time he find a very tough job, leguminosae family, he started dividing of it. But one stage, he was unable to divide. Then he thought that zero taxonomy protein content we will see and based on the proteins, we can subdivide. Like that, he divided. This technique is based on the highly specific relationship between the antigens, antibodies, sera, present in sera. What is the serum? What is the plasma? What is blood? Everything I mentioned here very clearly. Serology is the study of antigen antibody reaction, immunology. Uh, the application of serology, see, the application of serology, application of immunogenic system of the plant, application of protein content of the plant in the division of the taxonomy is called as a zero taxonomy. Whenever classification will become tough, we will use the serology. This plant is serology, then you subdivide. Like that. Okay, this is called a zero taxonomy. So I will end my session here.